Carol Brenner. I'm from New York City. I have a bachelor's degree in fine arts and a master's in art education. And I think it's really important to have a good, solid background in art education if you want to pursue the profession. I've been a professional artist for many years. I've worked in numerous media over the years, including painting, drawing, metal, clay, printing, plastic, graphics, collage, etc., etc. And these days, I work primarily in fused glass or mixed media where I combine pieces of fused glass. Working with glass is not a simple process. You are not only working on your particular layout, your concept, and your design, you are also required to have a lot of technical knowledge. Even after working with glass for years, I'm still learning. Fused glass requires the use of a kiln that goes up to very high temperatures you are literally fusing cut up glass pieces together. If you wish to change the shape and make the work three dimensional, you use a mold to do so. And the process is called slumping. Also, there are numerous tools that you rely on, such as glass cutters, circle cutters, uh, grinders, and sandblasters. This is an example of what fused glass looks like. You will note that uh, different pieces of colored glass are mixed in with other colors and they melt together at very high temperatures in the kiln. This piece is called wild red. I mentioned before that there is a process called slumping where you use a mold for the glass. This piece becomes three-dimensional as a result of utilizing that process. It's called desert mountain, this piece. Coming up with an interesting theme can always be a fun thing to do uh, for any artist. I love to come up with new concepts, and this particular piece is from a series I did called The Funky Forest. It's a fun series that was inspired by nature, and um, it had a lot of different playful trees in the part of the series. The process is fraught with many challenges. Firstly, it's glass, so inevitably you get cut a lot. Secondly, you're firing it in a kiln, so you want to be certain you're using the right temperature. You must always be mindful of the safety of the kiln because it gets so hot. Sometimes the glass can bubble up or the colors can change as a result of a chemical reaction. Also, the reality is that glass is fragile and it is subject to breakage. When you have worked very hard on a piece and you love the piece, it not only breaks the glass, it breaks your heart. I started very, very young. I've been working for many years in glass, but even before I worked in glass, I worked in other media. I did a bunch of projects, including two houses of worship, and eventually I switched from stained glass to fused glass because I really enjoyed working with it. It gave me a broader range to accomplish the kind of projects that I was interested in making. exposure to colored glass was in a house of worship as a young child. Of course, growing up in New York City, it was a wonderfully rich environment for a person who wished to pursue art. My formal education and my father exposed me to some of the best museums on galleries on the planet. When I was young, Mark Chagall's stained glass windows were being shown at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. They were so different and so innovative. 
I love the fact that one of the greatest painters that ever lived was experimental enough to try working with glass. He translated his unique style into the uh, work with this material, and he did it brilliantly. For every glass artist living on planet Earth today, Dale Jahuli changed the world. He proudly made glass front and center. Other influences included the giants of the New York School of Art, like Pollock and Kuni, as well as the artists who came after them, such as Haring and Basquet, and the great women, Rheingold and Sherman. These folks were daring, and they were important role models for teaching young artists that you could do the kind of work that you wanted to do. They changed the whole art world, and they gave the rest of us permission to be the kind of artists we dreamed of being, and not just artists who followed the herd. They were not wannabes, they were the real deal. In keeping with the sentiment of the festival, I'm exhibiting a graphic image that incorporates the words, hate is not cool. We are living in very disturbing times. Many people are expressing hatred, but the majority of people who they share the planet with are disgusted by this. Most people just want to get along with each other. And they're tired of the discord and the dysfunction. I'm certainly one of those people. I learned at an early age that mixing with all kinds of people can be a great learning experience. It presents us with new perspectives. Also, in keeping with the theme of the festival, I despise prejudice. Only through interaction can we learn about others, and we are richer for it. Renault.com.